What is the craziest thing you've ever done? Oh my gosh, I don't even, is it okay if it's illegal? I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling. We're rolling? Okay, I'm rolling too. Hey everybody, so today we're doing my first matchstick interview and what a matchstick interview is, is I ask a question and the person on the other side has th to answer the question within the time that it takes the match to burn you, right? And today we're, we're collaborating with Dr. Joe. Ask Dr. Oh Joe. I got it. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to have so much more time, but I guess not. Oh, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm excited. Um, she's my first guest. So, Joe, um, why don't you light a match and tell us a little bit about your channel? All right, I, I'm, I'm scared. I hope I don't burn myself. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Joe. I am a doctor of physical therapy. And as you can see, I have my friends with me who show up during cameos. I do physical therapy videos to help people feel better. And lots of times there's dog cameos, so you'll see lots of dogs and I'm about to burn myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> so the first question, how much of your parents do you see in yourself? Or are specific things that you do in everyday life that you're like, oh my God, that's something my mom does or my dad does. So oh, that's the question. Great question. Okay, here we go. All right. So yes, I see a lot of both of my parents and me. Um, first of all, my dad, um, I think mainly because he tends to have a little bit of a temper and I used to have a really bad temper. It's gotten better now. Um, I'm more zen now. As far as my mom, yes, we actually look a lot alike and I feel like um, her caring for animals and people is um, out too hot. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh my gosh. Are you ready for your question? Yes, I am. I am ready for my question. So your cakes are super creative. I think they're amazing um, watching your videos. Do you create artistically in other ways like drawing, painting, sculpting? Um, so before I would actually just draw and paint and so I kind of fell into cake decorating. Um, whoa, this is too fast. Um, I've never sculpted anything and now I'm having to learn how to sculpt because I'm sculpting cakes, but it's all crazy because uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of just guessing the whole time that I'm doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> that was good. That's good. We're going to have blisters all over our fingers by the time we're done. <laughs> so my second question is, you're starting a 90s cover band, right? Who are you covering and what is your band name? 90s, okay. Um, <laughs> well, since I grew up in the 90s, um, there's so many to choose from that I love and I had the big hair and the big poofy bangs. Um, I am gonna go with, um, oh my gosh, in the 90s, NSYNC. I'm covering for NSYNC and it's, I'm gonna be the PT Hot Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Since I noticed that you and I share a love for the movie Coyote Ugly, um, <laughs> let's be honest, have you ever danced on a bar before? Um, so I have danced on a bar. There's this bar in, um, I think it's called The Win in Las Vegas and there's it's it's a outdoor beach bar and so I was dancing with my cousin and I was like super drunk. I dance a lot when I'm really drunk and the bouncer actually had to pull me off the, 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 the bar because um, I wouldn't get home and usually it's just girls. But... You shouldn't discriminate. You should be able to dance on the bar. I know, right? But I was there probably for a good 20 minutes so <laughs> I can't really complain. <laughs> So Oprah, right? Mm -hmm. Oprah, she calls you up and she's giving you a free car moment, right? Do you know what that is? You get a car and you get a car. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She says, I'm gonna give you something that all of your subscribers can get. Mm -hmm. 
what is the thing that you would give all of your subscribers? Okay, so I'll be serious with this one. I think, honestly, everybody rehabbing or exercising should have their own pool. So those little like portable drop-in pools with the little turbines that give you a current. Yes. Um, aquatic therapy is awesome. And it's very helpful for like, oh, it went out. <laughs> I think that's so cool. Yeah, and so you get a pool and you get a pool. <laughs> Is, is your room starting to smell like um, smoke a little bit? Smell, it's like the sulfur, right? In the air? Yeah, I can <laughs> yeah, smell it. it is, yeah. <laughs> so, how do you get your idea for the cakes that you make? So, a lot of the ideas that I have for cakes come from things that are trending, movies and television stuff. Um, I actually dream crazy, so I try to incorporate a lot of the creatures that I've dreamt about because I think their backstories are really interesting. So eventually I want to do a book that focuses on all the things that I've dreamt about in like one big story. <laughs> there, there. Yeah, I definitely burned myself on that one. I'm gonna have to figure out some physical therapy exercises for um, how to fix your burnt fingers, I guess. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is something I just want to know. What is the biggest misconception of or one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about medicine. Medicine in general or physical therapy? I think it's just the idea of physical therapy. Like, you take medicine instead of doing physical therapy, right? Cool. Okay. I mean, I kind of just want you to talk about that. So yeah, I did talk a little bit about the op opioid epidemic. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger. And what's happening is unfortunately, people go to see their doctor and the doctor just prescribes them medicine before they even send them to physical therapy. And a lot of times they've done research study where nine times out of 10, they can go to physical therapy first and actually get better without even any kind of medication. So um, I think my matches burn out but that that's pretty important i think to try that first because you know you're not missing out on anything trying out yeah first. yeah ready for some more burnt fingers yes i am ready did you have a favorite stuffed animal as a kid uh so <clears throat> my favorite stuffed animal was actually a stuffed animal it was like this slinky dog that was baby blue and I would tug it everywhere. And it had like little pink red or like magenta wheels. And I just remember like being so excited every time I would like take it on a walk. <laughs> that's, that's what I did. Cool. Ooh, this is gonna be hard because I think it's a long question. Dinner party, you're having a dinner party. You can invite five people dead or alive. Who would you invite? <laughs> In a match date, yeah. you have to answer that question. <laughs> There we go. Alright, so um, I'd absolutely invite Lady Gaga because I think she's brilliant and exciting and um, she would just be fun all around. Um, I would also invite um, my, both of my grandmothers because I was still pretty young when they passed away. Shoot! <laughs> just, you can just finish it. Um, See, I'm a big music person, so I'd also in invite Madonna because I think um, Madonna and Lady Gaga would be very entertaining together because I think they have a bit of a riff, um, but they're both very similar in their uniqueness and awesomeness, so I think that would be fun. And then I would invite the, the very first person who um, kind of created physical therapy and why they thought doing exercises would help benefit people. So that would be kind of cool to see. Watching your grandmothers interact with Madonna and Lady Gaga would probably be... They'd be like, um... <laughs> okay, next question. Um, do you have any pets? <clears throat> So, I have a dog named Bella at my parents' house. I also have a dog named Sherry, named after Sherry Shepherd on The View. I have two cats that live with me, and they're both named after co-hosts on The View also. So, Sunny, oh no, not Sunny, um, Jedediah, Bila, and Whoopi Goldberg. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, so, I want to know what your favorite thing about your subscribers is. All right. Uh, what I really love about my subscribers is they're very appreciative. Um, a lot of them are from places, areas, countries that don't have good health care. And so when I help them, um, they're very appreciative of the help. So I really do like that a lot. And my matches are not staying lit very long. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I, I actually really <laughs> like that. I didn't even think about that, about places that don't have, where you're not afforded the luxury of like going to the doctor. Because even in the United States, you know, I have a lot of people that just say, I live in a rural area and the closest PT clinic is an hour and a half away, you know, and that's not really something that some people can do twice a week. Yeah, so. yeah, it's totally something that you have to, to figure out how to do at home, yeah. So for your YouTube Next Up video, you made this awesome evening gown for Julie. Um, what other kind of material do you use? You know, I know you just use what plastic um, tablecloths. So um, when yeah. you make other stuff, like do you make clothes for yourself and do you make it out of wacky materials and stuff like that? So besides um, table covers, I also use paper plates because um, it looks the most like armor when you're creating a costume. And I figured, I, one thing I realized was that if you use staples and paper plates, the staples actually kind of look like um, stitching, like thread. Um, and so that's one of the things that I really like playing with. Are you good? Good. <sighs> That was, that was hot. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm like trying to figure out, cause like I look at the camera, but then I keep looking off to the side to look at you. <laughs> I, I want to be like, yeah, uh-huh, oh uh, yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> right? That's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> so you've combined the DNA of three animals, right? To create like this awesome hybrid. What three animals um, and what are you calling this hybrid? Oh lord! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so of course one would have to be a dog because I love dogs um, And then the next one would have to be a dinosaur because of um, my little stuffed animal next to me And then the next one would be um, a dragon because I love Game of Thrones So a dog, a dinosaur, and a dragon and I would name it <laughs> A dragosaur. <laughs> a dragosaur. Now I feel like I'm trying to distinguish the features of each because the dragon could be so similar, you know? True, true. Next question. Okay, um, what is the craziest thing you've ever done? Craziest thing I've ever done? Oh my gosh, I don't even, is it okay if it's illegal? I don't even know if I'm allowed to your video. I'm not to talk about it on camera. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So once I was really drunk and somehow on the drive home, I convinced all of my cousins that I was a drug mule and that people were putting drugs in my car and I was like driving them around to whoever and they believed me. And so the next day my sister had to talk with me about all the things I was doing and I was like, ah, that's not actually, I just made that up. I don't know why everyone believed that I was doing that, but I didn't. It was really funny because they were like crying. My sister was so sad and it... You were the only one in the car laughing. <laughs> yeah, I was. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. That was the craziest thing. Think. Um, if your dogs were humans, right, what is the one thing that they would... One thing they'd be like, you need to stop doing this because you do it a lot and I'm really annoyed. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna answer for this. <laughs> okay, so I make up different accents for my dogs. So um, Callie is really Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. So she has the British accent. Bear has like a country boy accent and Remy has this like valley girl accent. So they would totally be like, mom, we do not talk like that. Please stop acting like we talk like that. <laughs> so when you talk, oh my gosh, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty embarrassing if somebody was actually watching. Um, okay. Uh, so you often make movie themed cakes. So what's your favorite movie of all time? So my favorite movie of all time is The Terminal, which is a Steven Spielberg movie featuring Tom Hanks and Catherine Zeta-Jones. It bombed at the box office because they had to recreate all of the international terminal at JFK. Um, but I love all the little inside jokes and I love the kissing um, that Catherine and, and Tom share. Not a lot of people like that movie, but I thought it was really good. There's like a, there's a bowl of water with all the matches and I'm just dipping my auntie to it. Because <laughs> I'm like, gosh, it's like, I'm gonna get a blister from this. 
What's your favorite movie? Your favorite? Actually, you know, that'll be my next question. Uh, my all-time favorite movie is The Matrix. Um, just because of all the CGI coolness in it to just the idea. It, when I first watched it, it really made me think, are we in real life or are we sitting in a pod somewhere just like growing? So, ha, huh, yeah. Maybe that didn't really hurt. Maybe I'm just sitting in a pod somewhere and that was all in my mind. So, who knows? <laughs> I don't know when it started, but like the idea that like maybe what I'm experiencing, like, this is the 10 seconds that I'm right before I die in a car crash. Mm -hmm. And so like I'm reliving everything. I always wonder because my dreams are so vivid, are, is, are my dreams real and like this is my dream. You're dreaming about doing a collab with JK right now. I mean, that would be the like best option is having a collab with you, so. <laughs> so last question, is this my last question? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're quite aggressive with the viewers, so my question is, you gonna catch me outside? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, okay. So I'm, I'm full of empty threats, <laughs> and I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> the only reason I say stuff like that is because at night, I uh, I watch world star hip hop hip hop videos, and they like entertain me like crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I I wouldn't go outside. I just hide in my house. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. That was awesome. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you head over to Ask Dr. Joe's YouTube channel and subscribe. And if you have any physical discomfort, she probably has a stretch or an exercise to help you out. Dr. Joe has got Joe back. Do you have any parting words, Dr. Joe? No, just the, thank you so much. That was fun. Um, you are an awesome person, and I love getting to know a little bit more about you, so. Hopefully we'll get to hang out in person again sometime soon. There might be a playlist of all the people I've done this with, or this could just be up by itself because this is the first episode. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.